Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create custom skins using skinned eggs. Let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to Google and type in skinned eggs, and then click this top link right here. Or if that sounds like too much work, click the link in the description, save you a bit of time there. Okay, so once you're in, there's lots of different things. So if you are feeling a bit lazy, you don't have to make your own one. You could just take one from the list of mm, so, so many. Uh, so there's lots. If you look at this, you've got top, which just shows you the, the current top ones at the moment. But, you know, that will change all the time. And you can see you've got the front and the back and whatever you want. And you can just click on it and it will go in and give you the option to download straight away um if we go back also up here we've got latest which shows you the the most recent skins added to the website we've got recently commented which as you would assume is the skins with the most recent comments on another thing you can do is actually on this box up here you can just type in anything so let's say creeper and it will search for skins with the creeper tag so for example we've got like a, a, a lava creeper there we've got uh, this creeper with his head stem there weird um we've oh, got all sorts of stuff but yeah th so you, you you can type in anything and it'll bring up skins and you know it saves you some time search making something if you want to just search for it so let's say you wanted a spider-man skin all you do is type in spider-man and then it gives you a whole bunch of spider-man skins which you can then choose to download if you really want to editor which we'll go through in a second upload to upload your skin to the website and skin grabber which is also pretty cool so you could go into there and you could type in a Minecraft username so for example I can type in myself so geeky gamer hit that and that's my skin hello now what you could do here it actually gives you the option once you go into these you can edit them straight away so I haven't even done anything I this is I haven't uploaded this this is on here already I can click edit skin and that takes me straight to my skin to edit and you can do that with anyone's skin so you want to change the face or something go crazy go crazy so let's talk you through this we'll go through each of these buttons individually what they all do and uh, we'll, we'll show you how to make a cool skin so if you don't want to work on me for example which is understandable you can click on reset skin down here that's uh, this tiny little button click okay uh, and that, that just gets rid of the skin now if, if you want it back you can just go back through the entire thing you can type in my username or whoever's username and find it back up so let's see um we'll start down here so we can upload from a computer so if you've got a skin file that you want to use and you want to edit you can click on that you can download here which takes whatever you've got here and downloads it straight to your computer or you can upload to skindex again it takes whatever you've got here which at this point is nothing and uploads it to skindex for everyone else to download now we've got different parts here uh, i will just highlight as well if you notice my uh, my mouse is actually changing slightly while i'm hovering over the skin itself you can see this got this little uh, crosshair uh, that's basically implying where i'm going to be adding colors or, or, or pixels to it but when i come off the skin you can see it turns to a hand that means i can if you press and hold that you can actually rotate the skin around and you can see it from different angles that's very useful to know and you don't you if you try and grab it here you're just going to draw all over it and that just ruins your skin and then um so yeah that that's that now there's actually different layers this is um it's quite important you've got um you've got the body which is well the, the basic skin and then you've got the outer layer so if we were to show start with just the body so this tell you what let's load my skin back up right so to show you how this really works i'm going to take the outer layer off that is my basic skin that's what i look like without my outer layer it's not quite as fancy i've got um a bit less detail uh but you know it's it does the job the outer layer basically adds the like the beard and the hoodie and the hair and just makes it look a bit more sort of fuller a bit more going on uh, so you can see here we've just got like the watch disappears for example we've got the the basic skin and then we've got the outer layer you can work on both of these independently so if you just want to look at just the outer layer that's you do that you obviously turn off the body if it's orange it's on if it's gray it's off simple uh, and you can also select um, different parts so if you want to just like focus on the head for example you turn everything else off and then uh, you just got the head to deal with and then you just obviously you, you tweak it accordingly perfect now up here we've got the um the color wheel so you can if you want to pick a color you can obviously you, you come around here and you say okay well, i'm gonna want uh, a green and i want that sort of shade you've all seen color wheels before come on yeah <laughs> i'm not teaching you how to make color wheels um right so that's this side down here we've got the pencil uh and this is this is basically how you draw stuff so let's just drop the outer layer off a second and look at the main skin so we've got this lovely green color and I don't know, we want to just change 
uh, the face. Let's 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 change the face to, to green because uh, we reasons. Uh, so that's that. So that draws it in, and that's you know that's useful. You you, you want a green face for whatever reason. But you make a mistake, so then you've got the eraser tool. Now what this does, it doesn't just take off the the actual last bit you've done, it takes it back to sort of nothing. So that takes every colour away. So that's your eraser, that's how that works, and I think that's fairly straightforward. We've got the auto tone. Um, we'll come back to that. Next up we've got the bucket tool. This is actually quite good, so if you want to fill an entire area, you just click it. There you go, and that just saves you having to go through everything all at once. Um, yeah. We've got an undo button here, we've got a redo button here. These two tools are very useful, so if you see here we've got the, 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 the green. So we can actually click this, and this basically makes it a darker tool. So we've got darker and lighter, the so light in colour and dark in colour. If we click on that, we can click on this and it will just just change it by sort of one tone. And obviously we can lighten it by doing the same thing, and like that. Piece of cake. Uh, we've got a zoom, so that zooms in, and that one zooms out. So that's good. Uh, we've got this, which is the colour picker. Now this is very useful. If you want to say I've done that and I think actually, do you know what? I don't actually think I want a green head. I want a sort of skin tone. So I've got my ear there. So let's just borrow a skin tone from there, and then we can come back here. So that will it straight away it changes it up here. You can see that it's got the the, the colour uh, and change all the wheel, and it put me straight back into pencil mode. So I can now start filling this back in and give myself a cool head. Um, not quite as good as it was. But you probably look as well thinking, like, oh, it's a bit bland, it's a bit boring, there's not much going on, and it doesn't really match the rest of it, because these are a lot more detailed. So that's where this button comes in, Auto Tone. Click on that, and then what you do is just basically hover over the area, just just, just click and drag, and it just gives it a, a, a blended, a, a sort of a gradient colour, and it just gives you this effect. Now obviously you can, again, tweak it, you can adjust the colour of a block or something because you want darker lighter I don't know, you do what you want with it that's fine uh, and obviously we'll do the same so let's um let's color pick that for my hair and then we'll just click on the auto tone and we'll just try and fill in my hair a little bit uh, something like that and I've got a beard and yeah I messed that bit up and that bit but so this is here's another thing for you if you don't want to do this which I mean you don't obviously this is why you want to take the other bits off, so you're not messing around with more than one thing. Because if I, I'm not destroying my, I'm not destroying my already active working skin. So that's that's what that does. Uh, and obviously, at the moment we are still working on the body. We've still got the outer layer which we haven't touched. So that's you know that's there. Um, but yeah, so that's really handy. And also, it's very good because say I wanted to change my top, uh, and I want it to be red, for example. So I've gone through all through that, but you've got to be very careful because there's actually little bits inside. So you've got to t you've got to turn off different parts. So, for example, let's uh, yeah, say I wanted to make my my body red. Uh, if I do that, well, that's that's a that's a that's a nice red. Uh, but if you look at this, we haven't done the sides. So when we're walking right through the Minecraft world, it's going to look a little bit silly. So you've got to make sure you actually go through and sort of add the detail on every angle uh, and that obviously works around all body parts because otherwise it's gonna look it's gonna look silly and we, we don't want silly we, we don't we want to look like a pro minecrafter here not like not like a silly boy so yeah that's um that's a, a cool skin and you know I think an improvement um, so yeah that's that the next thing uh, which I want to go through is down here. Now, this is uh, this is quite useful. So this is a mirror tool, and what this basically does is I want to make a change on sort of both sides of my body, but I want it to be the same. But I don't want to sort of have to keep flicking back and forth and oh, what, what 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 block was that on? Oh, what? okay, fine. So what we'll do is um, let's just get rid of the outer layer again. So I've got my my red torso there, but I think we need a uh, let's get a bit of purple in there. So, what we'll do is if we take uh, a block up here, it automatically fills in the, the adjacent block on the opposite side. It mirrors it. Yeah, it, the clues in the name here. So, we can do that and do this and do that and do that. And whatever you do here is going to be reflected on the other sides. But we can do like a nice line all the way down and it does it for you. And it's it makes it a lot easier. So, again, we can say, okay, well, let's, um, let's just zoom in a bit. 
I want a sleeve, so let's uh, let's say like it's going to be like that, and then we'll colour that around there, nice and easy. But then this bit will still be a skin tone. So if we come around here, look, it's done it already. So we don't have to do it twice. Perfect. Say so you've done that, you're you're happy with that as your skin, and I'm gonna oh, I want to use this skin from now on. This is gonna be my Minecraft skin with everything as it is. It's so much better. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this skin, but um, what you need to do, you click on the download button, click on that, and that automatically sends a little file down there we save to computer and uh well that's really it you then need to head over to minecraft so load up minecraft and then come up here click on skins uh in there you can see a list of all your skins that you've got available you might not have anything uh, you might just have the basic alex and steve but um, you might have loads but yeah click on new skin and it'll take you to this window you can choose to have a classic or a slim thick figure uh which basically makes a difference of the, the size of the hands now I, I stick with classic because i'm old school i'm classic you can then click browse to search your computer for that file now it's probably going to be in your download folders now i automatically move them to a separate folder but that's where they're going to be so you will have it in your download folder feel free to move it but that's where it's going to be click on that and click open Open. and um, there we go now this is um this is this is my new new skin doesn't need it look good now we can give it a name so we can call it um not real skin why not uh, and again you can obviously go for the same one if you want with thinner arms or you can go for the classic it's uh, it's up to you now there's a save which means you can just save that as a skin or you can save and use which makes it means that you're going to save it and use it as your skin do that and then that brings it there if i just set, set click save it would have left me with my standard 2020 geeky skin uh, because that's that's what i would have been but yeah that's it so now i can load up minecraft and that's the skin i'm going to play with in game but unfortunately that's all we've got time for today so if you enjoyed this if you learned something don't forget to like comment subscribe and share uh, do all the normal stuff uh, but as always i've been Skeeky gamer you've been awesome and thanks for watching goodbye